Hello, it's Retro Guardian Joe, and probably last time I lied, because I'm going to go for the side mission Filth and Other Entertainment, which is very close to Fort Mercer, but not quite Fort Mercer. And then maybe I should go to Fort Mercer, because I think he gives me like a lot of side quests, kind of like Seth did. But I, again, I don't entirely remember how this all works out. I do remember we end up in Mexico at some point. I do remember that. What the frick was that? Hi, how you doing? I'm not what I wanted. Get, get, leave the gallon. Thank Are you. you. Actually alive, sir? Please, come on over. Hi. Can I, can I, uh, you can't touch me out here, and I'd like to keep it that way, so I rarely venture out. I've got my experiments here to keep me happy. Okay, okay. I'm running low on research subjects, so I'll gladly resupply it if you can get me some monsters to experiment on. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pass. Hey, you know what? Why not? It's entertaining, right? Safe. Anything to find a cure, I guess. Bring it undead and bring it back to the doctor. Does it like just rope it and bring it? Probably that. So just travel over here. Rope her. You're mine now. And just go ahead and slowly bring on over, I guess. Maybe get off and tie her up and then put her on my horse or at least carry her. Here. If you're gonna find a cure, I advise you do it quick. We done? Oh, cool. So scientific. All right, save the town. Yeah, save the town with a rope. Oh, I try shooting him in the face and he just kind of whips him instead. What the heck? Climb faster, climb faster. Really that dead sucker climbing. Yeah, I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Stop your whining. <laughs> All right. Well, can I help you? Oh, ah, mother and children. No, 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 save me, save me. Yeah, man, come here. Camera, come closer. You okay, Mister? Ah, ah. Mr. Marston, well, I might have guessed you wouldn't have got the lurgy yet. Not yet. I'm trying to help my family. Yes, quite the hobby of yours, that. Like it's his only motivation. Listen, any idea what the hell's going on here? No, but it's brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. <laughs> this hit? It'll make a fantastic movie. Who would enjoy that? What? What kind of sick person would like that? My kind sir. The lowest common denominator. My people. You're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir. You misunderstand me. Come now. You're a smart fellow. Allow me to illuminate. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. Each to their own, Mr. Marston. But if you find the time... Listen to me, why? <sighs> Why is this spot glowing like that? It's so weird. Look at that. Quite literally. Hey, someone's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Howdy, mister. Howdy. You're gonna be okay. Step right up! Step right up! Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. 
Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls! Why, it's a natural miracle! And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins! That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation! <laughs> you, sir! You look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? You tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, uh, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, Okay, but can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful, undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. I mean, admittedly, if it works, great. Uh, they seem to like him very much. <laughs> I love the animators for this. Oh, yeah, there's a spit arc. He was one of those. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I'm, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Yeah, well, don't be like that. Uh, don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! <laughs> All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. Well, hopefully they get attracted to the exact spot I throw it. Or they're never exactly how it works. Mm. And then throw some dynamite at them. Interesting. I'm going to find a spinner around here. So I can bring it back, so I can get that mission accomplished. Frick, 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 frick! Swoop! Swoop! Let's oh, please, horses, horsey, swoop! Bye, horsey. Seth, sorry to interrupt your party. Hey, John, come join us. We're having a jig. <laughs> John, have you met Mary Lou? What about Francie? <laughs> did as you asked and cleared out the rest of the graveyards. Doesn't seem to have done much good. Good? 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 Is dead good? Are you good? <laughs> Stop with your nonsense, you annoying fool. What's going on? The world's turning, John Marston, and the moon with it. Woohoo! <sighs> Day follows night, and hate 
Oh, that was love. Oh. Okay, you asked for it, Seth. You either stop dancing and start talking, or prepare to join Moses and the rest of these freaks. Are you constipated, John? You look very angry. You get constipated when you're angry. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I'm warning you, Seth. Oh, I'm warning you, Seth. I'm warning you. Don't play with the undead, Seth. Don't chase treasure. Don't waste your time searching for treasure and discover only a glass eye. <laughs> glass eye. Well, warn all you want, cowboy. Well, that's a load off my mind. Why well, didn't I think about that before? Because you weren't dancing. Hey, John. Well, how are you? Would you like a drink? We got blood mucus surprise. Come on! Seth, what is going on? Aztecs. Or, or Incas. Or, or it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's all the same. Once every 200 years, this land is doomed. <laughs> That's why we love it. Mexico. Mexico, John. <laughs> ah, Mary Lou, may I have the honor? Oh. You're a sick man. Hello, it's Retro Garden Show. I finally made it to Big Tree. I need to go search for. What is it? Here, let's see. Cure for what ails you. Collect five do snow drops from four west tickets. Collect five dancer stage for us. We gotta keep our strength up if we wanna stay alive. You wanna bite? I guess there's plenty to go around if you be wanting some too. Uh. A little bit of whiskey to soak it in, and I reckon this will be good eating. Mm. It all started just after the plague hit town, you Why know. Why are you telling me? My brother me comes this? home shot up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Freaking cannibals. Hey guys. Ooh, yeah, this is basically bullshittery 101. Go out and find the items that are randomly strung up about the world. Okay, let's do it. Let's go save a brother. He's trapped in there. We gotta keep those creatures out. Where are the creatures? Ah, oh, there are the creatures. Um, am I out of dead eye? Where can I eat dead eye? Yes, sir. You ain't eating me. That fool nearly shot me. <laughs> we good? Can we do it? Hello? Run! Go on, quick! Run, stupid! Basically, Netflix, you've effed up, you should bring back to a converted. Please give it one more season. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Not right here. Okay, we're good. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're That's done. We're done. I think the last time I played this was about the area I stopped playing was when they, uh, Asked me to go collect these for him. Seriously, that is not fun. That is not fun gameplay. Took me an entire freaking episode just to collect everything. Where the heck is that W? Is that even in for Mercer? What the? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Another satisfied customer, Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. You poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together. No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you, dear boy. Oh, thank you. Oh. One freebie. Oh, oh. Mr. Dickens. Yes. Of course. 
Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, wait just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here you go. Now these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan. <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends, I know. <laughs> you better not be wasting my time. Here he is. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> Where's Riley's charge? Where is Riley's charge? Here to be up on the map somewhere. Uh, Okay, let's go. All the way in. Where is Riley's charge? Why is it not showing up as like a mission or something? It is. Oh. Okay, am I just colorblind? I mean, I know I'm slightly color, ever so slightly colorblind, but. Green on yellow. That is a lime, a very bright lime green on a very bright lemony yellow. Doesn't is that even a lime? Ah, whatever. Wait a Granted, like I said, I don't know if that was a color blindness problem or something else. Hi. Ow. Ow. Oh, crap. Well, that sucks. So I wonder why she was just lying there dead if there was no zombies around that. Ah, frick. Where'd you go? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Where did you go? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? I'm lying. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just going to the W now. Very we careful we approach the W. Where where is this W? There it is. That's it. That's all I need. Okay, then. Come on. You look a little pale. Are you right here? Go! Why? Hello there! Come on, join us. They don't mind. What an appetite, my angel. I'm starting to think you might have a taste. I guess that's that bit. <laughs> I mean, I could leave him to his own, but, uh, yeah. That was weird. This makes me want to just replay a Rage of Red Dead Redemption at some point, too. One of those things where it feels so much simpler, but in a good way, too. It's one thing Rockstar seems to do, is to make their games a little more cumbersome each time. Realistic, sure, but it just feels more cumbersome. All right, Dickens. Wes Dickens! Uh, Nigel! Where are you, old man? You better not be a zombie. You better not have gotten killed. Under here! <laughs> Get out here. Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, 
It's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. Oh, basically the people you screwed over. It's happened. No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything or stolen anything or even lied that much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Larson, I've been selling health tonics for years from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No. They want to hang me. Me. An honest salesman. Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there, not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh, did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? I got something. Oh, ha, ha, excellent. Uh, uh, just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I appreciate you could see the broom earlier on in the scene. What was that? Did my underwear just show through that? No, 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 no. Blunderbuss? Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. And cattle killers. The passion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Uh, would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? Plus a hundred. We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> he uses undead body parts as ammunition. Interesting. I mean, you say you can put anything in it. John just chooses to put in undead body parts. Where am I going? Uh, nothing at the moment. I got nothing at the moment. It may take some time, Dickens, to find way the normal vessel. In the meantime, you should visit other survivors to see if you can let, let them aid. Fine, let's see if I can find a spitter. Maybe spitters? Use some spitters. All right, I'm not finding anything. I'm just gonna go do this guy. Wait, did that child have a mustache or was that just a small man? <laughs> In a time of enormous crisis, I might've known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Yeah, John, why are you such a dick? Damn. Take down the pot. Fine. What if other people want to find her, huh? 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 Uh. 
Where was he? So where's she? All the way up there by Coachella. Survivor of Blackwater has died. What does this even mean? How many survivors even are there? Doesn't give me like numbers. Do I have to go save them before they all die? Fine, I'll go do that. Get, just get off the horse. Yeah, I'm trying to. The game's. Hey! Stop that now! <laughs> Are you trying to reason with the zombies? Um. Hi. Um. Oh, jeez. Man, I was not expecting this. Are you Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. All right, miss. Let's ride my horse that's on fire. You think there's a cure? I sure hope so. Otherwise, well, I don't want to think about it. Game with the guy. Uh, where's my blunderbuss? There's my blunderbuss. Stop <laughs> Good day. See you later. Where are we going? I thought you were taking me home. Well, I was trying to help the other survivor, oh. miss. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Bad move. Thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. <laughs> Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. All right, next time I'm Roger Guy and Jew, I'm going to go save Blackwater. Then I guess I could go talk to what's-his-face. Bye-bye.